Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Sunnah Revival by Sheikh Mu'iz Bukhari. Sunan relating to the night of power. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, for today's episode, I would like to touch on the most powerful of all nights during the month of Ramadan. The night which is known as Laylatul Qadr, the night of power, the night of destiny, the night of decree, a night like none other. Allah Azza wa Jal talks about this night in Surah Al Qadr where He states, Verily, we have sent it, i.e. the Qur'an, down during the night of Al-Qadr, during the night of power. And what will make you know what the night of Al-Qadr, the night of power is? Laylatul Qadr khayrun min alf shahr. The night of Al-Qadr, the night of power, is better than a thousand months. I.e. worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during that night is better than worshipping Him a thousand months. Eighty-three years and four months. Allahu Akbar. تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَالْرُوحُ فِيهَا بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِمْ مِنْ كُلِّ أَمْرٍ Therein, during that night, descend the angels and the Ruh, Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam, by permission of their Lord for every matter. سَلَامٌ هِيَ حَتَّى مَطُلَعِ الْفَجْرِ Peace it is until the emergence of dawn. It is a powerful night in which Allah the Almighty decrees matters for the whole year. فِيهَا يُفْرَقُ كُلُّ أَمْرٍ حَكِيمٍ Therein, during that night is decreed every matter of ordainment. Now in regard to when is the night of power, this is something hidden in the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for reasons He Azza wa Jal knows best. As sincere slaves of His, it is upon us to strive during the last 10 nights of Ramadan, especially the odd ones, to seek out this special night. Moving on, I would like to mention a few signs of Laylatul Qadr taught to us by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Sign number one, look towards the moon. Now in general, as it will be during the last 10 nights of the month, the moon will be small, feeble and fading away. But on this special night, according to the words of the Prophet wasallam, that has been recorded by Abu Huraira anhu, who states that we were discussing Laylatul Qadr by the Prophet wasallam, And he said, أَيُّكُمْ يَذْكُرْ حِينَ طَلَعَ الْقَمَرُ وَهُوَ مِثْلُ شِقِّ جَفْنَا who remembers the night when the moon arose and was like half a plate? This hadith is recorded in the book of Imam Muslim, Rahimahullah. So during that night, that special night, the moon will be bright and it will be like half a plate. The next sign is that the Prophet wasallam is reported to have said, The night of power is calm and pleasant, neither hot nor cold. The sun arises on its morning being feeble and red. This particular narration is recorded by Ibn Khuzayma and Al-Bazzar. Next up on the list is that on the morning following Laylatul Qadr, the sun rises not having any rays as if it were a brass dish until it rises up. This particular narration is recorded by Imam Muslim, Imam Abu Dawud, Tirmidhi and Ibn Majah. Rahimahumullah. So it is preferred to seek this night during the last 10 nights of Ramadan as the Prophet wasallam strove his best in seeking it during that time, especially during the odd nights. As he wasallam is reported to have said, and Aisha radiallahu anha narrates the hadith, search for the night of power during the odd nights of the last 10 nights of Ramadan. Now having mentioned the signs and the virtues of this amazing night, what does an individual do if he or she coincides with the night? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all to attain the night of power. I mean, it is highly recommended to pray, read the Quran with understanding and tadabbur, reflection. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in the noble Quran, 
أفلا يتدبرون القرآن أم على قلوب أقفالها؟ Do they not ponder on the verses of the Quran, on the Quran, or have they got locks on their hearts? May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala help us all to reflect on the words of our powerful Maker. And it is also recommended to supplicate a lot during this night. It is reported that our mother Aisha radiyallahu anha asked the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, "O Messenger of Allah, what if I coincide with Laylatul Qadr, with the night of power? Then what should I say during it?" Now look at the words of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He said, "Say." اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عني. Beautiful dua. Oh Allah, you are the one who forgives greatly. Oh Allah, you are the one who forgives greatly and loves to forgive. So forgive and pardon me. This particular hadith hadith is recorded by Imam Tirmidhi and Ibn Majah رحمه الله. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, let us strive to seek out this night during the last ten nights of Ramadan, especially on the twenty-first night, twenty-third night, twenty-fifth night, twenty-seventh night, and the twenty-ninth night. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala bless us all to attain this amazing and powerful night. I mean, please don't forget to share this video around as much as possible to inspire an amazing Sunnah revival. جزاكم الله خير والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Support the Dawa. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org/slash/donate.